What is happening guys? Welcome to another AC6 build guide video. Today I give you my cosplay mech for Ikaruga. Now if you don't know who Ikaruga is, it's from an anime that a lot, not a lot of people have actually seen, but it's fantastic. It's called Knights in Magic. Knights in Magic, don't let it fool you, is not a regular isekai anime. It's, an, it's a mech anime. A very cool mech anime with very cool mech designs as well and the next few cosplay videos are going to be of mechs from that anime so today i give you ikaruga a very cool design and if you watch the show you know he's the top dog in that show he's the very powerful tons of generators and it's just a very cool mech so let's talk about him <laughs> obviously we can't give him a ton of generators here but in the mech he has lots of generators that's part of the lore but in the front hand, we're going to be using the medium BE 66 LRA laser rifle. It's a pretty good solid choice. We're going to be using the moonlight. We're going to be using the VP 60 LCS laser, uh, just laser cannon. And then the good old fashioned uh, pulse blade on the back. And for the frame, we're going to be using uh, shade eye head, mind alpha core. VP46S arms, they were the closest, I know they're not the strongest arms in the game obviously, but they were the closest cosplay wise to what he has in the actual anime. And then the Ibis series legs, obviously they were just the most aesthetic looking that were very similar to the anime. And for the inner we're using the 21E, uh, this is actually, this is versatile, I've actually messed around with this and used a few other ones, I've used this one as well, the NG001, it's also good, uh, but I just decided to keep the 21E on this, it just feels better I think. Uh, and then the FCS, we're using the medium range GT P05, and then the VP20C generator. Alright, so, let's uh show you what he can do in the arena a little bit and then we'll talk about his paint style obviously these cosplay mechs are not going to be very designed for pvp so i would not take them into the into nest by any means but they are fun nonetheless to have i used ikaruga actually in my let's play and he was actually pretty good program number 13 main system activating combat mode Ikaru is a pretty fast mech too, actually too. He's got good speed. Target destroyed. This concludes C rank evaluation. Well done. Yeah, I've been getting a few comments on my last few videos saying, oh, these mechs will get destroyed in nest. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> If you if you're new to my channel, I, I'm not a PvP type of person. I, I'm just I I play a little bit here and there, but I have specific builds for PvP. Like if you haven't watched my build video for example, I'll just show you real quick. If you haven't watched my build video for say, uh, where's he at here? Where's he at? Where's he at? Right here, uh, Blaze Blade. I've already uploaded him. He is one of my actual PvP builds. He actually rocks the heck out of Nest. Very good PvP build. So I have some PvP builds out there, but like I said, I am not a PvP type of channel. So if you don't like that, go watch somebody else. My builds are for uh, that is VP Pater. Okay, we'll leave it. we'll take Pater on. Um, my builds are strictly for just for fun. You know, I, I like being creative. I like doing creative designs, seeing what I can come up Arena with, seeing if I can do evaluation. some cool cosplay mechs. So yeah, I don't want you in the comments saying my mech could kick this mech's ass because yeah, probably could. <laughs> That's not the goal. <laughs> I'm here just to have fun with a game that I like playing and not everything has to be competitive. Damn, Pater's got buffed. I don't know if you guys noticed too, but they buffed a lot of the arena people too uh, since the last patch. A lot of the patch definitely gave a lot of the arena people quite a bit more damage. 
I might actually die to Bader here. Man, he's a lot faster than I remember. Has he always had those bubble guns? I don't even remember that either. Probably has. Oh, terminal armor. I don't want to die here. <laughs> I don't remember Pater ever being that annoying. Well done. But there you go. That's going to wrap up Ikaruga. Let me show you the paint style while you all came here. Uh, so paint style for Ikaruga. Head, I went with the gold and blue. And the gold we're using for this is 255, 197, and 109. And two different blues on this build. We're using a 45, 78, 135, and also a 45, 93, 159. Also for the glow, we went with a, just a really light blue, just the good old fashioned, you know, turquoise, I'd say, 196255. But uh, other than that, though, pretty standard, nothing too insane. I'll just go through a couple different yellows too with the gold just to kind of emphasize him. In the anime, he's a very cool looking mech. I definitely recommend looking him up. He's definitely a really neat looking dude. Probably one of the cooler mechs out of anime I've seen. And definitely, like I said, if you haven't watched Knights of Magic, definitely check that show out. Uh, for the arms, we throw on gray because in the anime, all his stuff he uses in the anime has like a gray side on it. So just put that on there. Uh, other than that, though, there is a decal. I did put a decal on here, uh, just because on the decal, he does have a similar... Oh, not that decal. Uh, this decal. In the, in the anime, he has, like, a silver sun kind of shining through up into his chest area, so I did something kind of similar to that. So we have that going up in there, just to give him a little bit of extra there. But other than that, though, I think that is the only decal on him. He's a very... He's very plain style color style in the anime, so I want to keep that the same here. But that is going to be Ikaruga, guys. Uh, let me upload him for you. And there is the share ID to Ikaruga. The best, closest design that I could come up with, similar to the anime, at least. But if you guys like it, please give it a like. I appreciate y'all. And we'll see you guys next time.